Hey guys, if you have neck pain, I'm gonna show you four products today that could potentially be useful for you. Now, I've only got experience with one of these so far, but I'm gonna show you anyway. And I'm gonna show you the other three. The other three I haven't tried yet. Uh, I'm not in any way sponsored or paid by any of these companies to do this video. I just feel like they potentially could be useful and I want to give you my honest opinion. So I wanted it to come from someone who actually is in the field and give you my honest feedback. Now before guys, before you do any of these, before you try any of these products, please, please, please make sure you go and get a diagnosis. Don't go using any products unless you know what's causing your neck pain. Potentially if it's a muscle spasm, a facet joint irritation or a disc bulge or a disc prolapse, Potentially these could be fine. The recommendation is to start with the minimum amount of time for all of these and gradually build it up over time. So I've got four products here for you today. The first one is called the Nexavia Mini. It's made up of different layers. Uh, one of these layers is harder to bend than the other. So what you do is you bend it and then you position your shoulders or the base of, uh, the bottom of your neck in one curve and then the top of your neck, so the base of your skull at the other end. So you position it and then it gives you traction. Depending on which way you bend it, you either get more or less force applied. I actually bought 10 of these on Kickstarter thinking they were gonna be a really useful product. I was thinking maybe I could sell these within the clinic. So 10 arrived. And this is the only one I've got left, not because I've sold them, but because I gave them all away because I couldn't even sell them. I just didn't even think that they were worth selling. But I will show you anyway. I think it's about 25, 30 pounds. It just, first of all, it just doesn't feel very comfortable. And second of all, it doesn't give you that much traction. If you're someone with a fairly big neck, the actual size available for your neck to go into doesn't make it a particularly comfortable product. The only way you can use it really is to lie down. I will show you right now what it looks like to be used. Okay, so this is the neck savior. We're gonna position this at the base of my neck, bend it and rest my head on the top. Now the first thing I can feel is the, the corners, the, the top pointy bits digging into the base of my head. And it actually doesn't feel that good. Uh, I can't really feel that much in the way of, of traction. So all in all, it's pretty uncomfortable, but hopefully you get an idea of uh, how it's supposed to look and what not to waste your money on. The next one is the neck hammock. I'm a little bit skeptical about whether or not this will work. So if we, if we take it out of the box, first impressions, Seems quite nice, it's kind of nicely stitched. It's got an interesting uh, pattern, interesting design to it. As we open it up, a couple of things are falling out. So we've got some earbuds, a couple of eye masks, uh, a door handle saying do not disturb because the chances are you're probably gonna hang this on the door. So the last thing you want is someone coming through the door and cracking the back of your head. And then we've got the straps, I guess, where you hook these up to a door bar or the door handle. Now, as, as we open it up and as we get to the last part, there's a couple of, there's a few pads in here that we just need to reposition so we can get our head in the right place. These just come away with some Velcro or hook and loop if you're in the States. So that goes in the middle. So it looks like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up now and we shall see what it looks like. Okay. so. To get into it, obviously you're gonna to have to lie down on the floor, position your head in like so. So the, the, the cushion that's inside is just on the nape of your neck. Now, first of all, the bungee cable feels fairly strong. My head's not pressing on the floor, so that's, that's good. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's compressing anything. There's nothing hard. It all feels nice and soft, and it actually feels quite nice, but it's pulling my head up into a bit of flexion, which, not necessarily a bad thing, but you kind of want your neck in a neutral position. There's no traction at this point. If I want to get traction, I'm going to have to pull further away. For some people who might not be that mobile, who might find it difficult moving around on the floor, 
it's probably not the most ideal of pieces of kit. And also, I'm not feeling that much traction here going through my neck. So all in all, if you've got a neck problem, I don't think this is the device for you. It's, it's more comfortable than the Neck Savior Mini, but if you have a neck problem, I don't think it's worth purchasing. The third product that I've got for you guys today is the an inflatable neck pillow. Well, it's not really a neck pillow, neck traction pillow, I guess you could call it. So if we take it out of the bag, basically look, it does look like one of those neck cushions that you get on the plane or that you use for travel. Um, the difference is that this expands. So what you're supposed to do is, is get your, put that around your neck and then use this blood pressure style cuff to inflate it. And then that gives you the neck traction as well. This, I suspect you could probably do it standing, sitting or um, lying down on your back. So what we do is we put that around, just like I guess you're wearing um, one of those travel cushions. We have to Velcro it in so it stops it from, from spreading out. That's one thing I thought about this was that it would, it would give you a sensation of, of being strangled, but we shall see. So we're gonna start inflating this. So this, the idea of this is that it's going to lift my head. This is perhaps one of the most ridiculous looking things that I've ever done in a video, but uh, all in the name of a good review. I can feel it starting to expand now. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, it's taking quite a, quite a while to inflate. Let's come in closer so you can see. So I can feel already that this has got more traction on it than the Neck Savior Mini that I showed you. Now I can also feel that I probably haven't tightened it up quite enough on the uh, at the front because it feels like it's kind of going around my head. But actually, do you know what? That, that feels like it's got some good traction on it. I can still talk, I can still breathe. One thing I can feel, and this is something you're definitely gonna have to be careful of, I can feel it, it's kind of making me feel a little bit dizzy. So potentially that's compressing some, some of the arteries uh, side of my neck or the back of my head. So if you have any kind of vertebral uh, artery disease, then just be careful. So you don't wanna go giving yourself any uh, fainting episodes or anything like that. But that actually feels quite comfortable on the whole. I'm just gonna release it so I can talk a little bit better. That's not bad actually, guys. It's quite comfortable. It, it's got a nice feel, so it's, it's, uh, it doesn't feel too plasticky. Potentially that could get quite hot, so you don't wanna do that anywhere that's too warm, you might get a bit sweaty, but that feels quite good. I think you can get quite a lot of traction from that. I'm just gonna try it lying down so you guys can see me and how it looks lying down and whether that's any good. Okay, so the question is, can you do this lying down? I can definitely feel there's traction going through my neck. It's not that uncomfortable. Because I'm lying down, it's put my head into a bit more of a flexed position, so probably not quite as comfortable as when I was sitting. But it's definitely worth giving that a try. I think probably seated would be slightly better. Whoa. Okay, so that was the inflatable neck traction device. Actually, that felt pretty good. One thing I would just say is if you were using that and you have any kind of history of strokes or high blood pressure or atherosclerosis in your family history or in your history, perhaps just check with your doctor first because I can feel there is a little bit of compression around the back of the neck and the sides of the neck. It could compress one of your vertebral arteries, which you don't wanna do. But on the whole, for the average person, anyone who's got a facet joint compression or, or traction feels good for the neck, then that's not a bad product to use. The good thing is it's very portable, so you can take it away in a suitcase. You could even use it as a, as a, as a travel cushion <laughs> Uh, on, on a plane or something, but overall not too bad. And then the last product that I've got for you today is one of these overhead uh, door traction devices. Out of all of the, the, the products, this one is probably the worst packaged. That being said, a lot of it is made from metal, so it looks like it could be fairly sturdy. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to use this one as well. I've hooked this over the door and they advise not to use it on a door that's hollow. 
So hook that on, it's got a pad there to keep the door uh, presumably safe from, from scratches. And then you hang the harness down from the, from the, the green string in the center. On the instructions, one thing that I, I read that I, I actually quite like is well, a couple of things. The first is it says you're forbidden to use this product alone, which I think is very safe. Also, adjust the tightness of the chin strap, prevent jamming the throat and prevent compression of the carotid artery, which I think is a great addition. So the carotid artery is just through the neck uh, down here on both sides. Uh, obviously, if you compress that, then that can cause you all sorts of problems, um, fainting, for example, um, fainting or blackouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself in, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to use. It's a bit confusing which, which side of this you're supposed to go into. The long side is where your uh, chin goes. Get your head through the hole. This is a bit awkward, I have to say, but there's some Velcro at the back. You just position it so it's not gonna slip so your head's not going to slip out. There's two pieces of string that you're supposed to use. One is to, to lift it up and give you the traction. And then the second is to release. Personally, I would have made this one a bit longer and probably a red color or something so you can tell straight away what, what it's supposed to do. But you pull and release, pull and release. So pull and release, pull and release. So I can feel some, some traction just there. I have to say it's a little bit hard to relax, but it actually feels quite nice. It's quite comfortable. I can feel the traction. It doesn't feel like it's putting too much pressure on anything. It does feel like it's squashing my, my chin a little bit. Maybe I haven't got it in the right place, I don't know. It's hard to tell which drawstring you've got hold of. The longer one is the, the traction one. Definitely, I would have put the, the release one coming down, maybe thicker, maybe a different color. It does feel quite good though, to be fair. It does feel like I've got a good amount of traction. It feels like I can keep going a bit further. Now, when you're coming out of this, what they recommend is that you stand up nice and slowly rather than pulling on the cord. But let me just show you, if you do pull on the cord, it completely releases it. So I guess that's kind of a, a safety feature. So I guess that's a safety feature uh, if you if you need it. Although as a safety feature, I would probably have made that a bit longer. So if you do decide to get one of these, what I would suggest you do is maybe tie another piece of cord to it, anything, maybe a different color, so that you have it more accessible to you in case you need to release yourself from it. But as far as traction goes, that actually felt really good. Uh, I felt like it was giving me enough lift. What I would just say is probably I should have positioned that a little bit further towards the middle of the door, just so the door handle wasn't in the way and I was more straight underneath. But that was pretty good. It was not too uncomfortable, a little bit awkward to get in and out of, but as far as, as traction goes, it felt pretty good. So I, I like this, I would recommend it. So, so far we've got two contenders. We've got the inflatable neck um, traction device and we've got the over the, the door traction device. All right then guys. So just to summarize, uh, I've shown you four products today. The Neck Savior Mini, the Neck Hammock, the inflatable neck traction and the over the door neck traction. So the Neck Savior Mini is, is a waste of time, so don't go and buy that. I think it probably retails around 25 to 30 pounds. Uh, so that is really overpriced for what it is. The Neck Hammock, I, I thought was kind of relaxing, but I didn't get much traction from it. So if you have a neck problem, that's probably not the thing for you. If you just wanna relax, you just wanna chill, put the uh, eye masks on that it brings you and, and the ear, ear um, plugs, then that's fine. Um, I, can't remember, I can't remember how that shot was, but I wouldn't recommend buying it anyway, so there's no point in me telling you. The uh, neck, neck traction, the inflatable neck traction, I thought was actually pretty good. This retails at about 15 to 16 pounds on Amazon. Uh, I think that's probably worth, worth getting. 
Like I said earlier though, if you have any vertebral artery issues or history of strokes in the family, um, atherosclerosis, then check with your doctor first. And then the over the door traction device, that retails at I think 32 pounds on Amazon. So double the price of the inflatable one, but also actually I've got quite a lot of traction from it. So I like both of these for different reasons. In terms of practicality and ease of use, definitely this one. In terms of perhaps safety for people who have got uh, vertebral issues, uh, vertebral um, artery issues, perhaps the door, um, the door uh, traction device. Depends whether you wanna pay 30 pounds or 15 pounds. Both seem to give me a lot of traction. So I, I think from now on, I'm gonna recommend both of these in the clinic. The other two I think are a complete waste of time. So hopefully you have found that useful. Hopefully if you've got neck problems, then it's given you a little bit more of a clear idea of what you could or couldn't use or should and shouldn't use. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I will do my best to get back to you. Make sure you speak to your doctor before you use either of these to make sure it's safe. And if you liked the video and you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, then hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video, guys.